Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is Greater Gospel Temple and Inspiration of God Ministries right here on the World Wide Web. It is Saturday evening, Sunday school lesson time. God is so good to each and every one of us. And for that, I am so thankful. I am so grateful. He's blessed us all to live, to see another day. And it is such a privilege and a blessing just because he's doing that for us. He's so wonderful. He's awesome. He's super califragilistic, expialidocious. He is the God that we serve. And our Sunday school lesson today is entitled Learning to Depend on Jesus. We're still in the book of James. We're in the fourth chapter of James, and we're in the 11th through the 17th verse. Learning to depend on Jesus. My goodness, what a wonderful message. Dear God, as I sit before you to speak, I pray to you that my soul will be free. And if I should die before I finish, I pray to you, dear God, in the name of Jesus, that any outstanding sins will be forgiven. Amen. He's a wonder in my soul. Yes, he is. Now, our scripture, James, the fourth chapter, 11 through the 17 verses. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judges, judges his brother, speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. Of what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little while and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to whom that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him, it is sin. And our focal scripture is for you, that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. That is our focal scripture. And so I'm going to go to this other version, the Living Bible version. Don't criticize and speak evil about each other, dear brothers. If you do, you will be fighting against God's law, loving one another, declaring it's wrong. But your job is not to decide whether this law is right or wrong, but to obey it. Only he who made the law can rightly judge among us. He alone decides to save us or destroy. So what right do you have to judge or criticize others? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look here, you people who say today or tomorrow we're going to such and such a town, stay there a year, and open up a profitable business. How do you know what is going to happen tomorrow? For the length of your life is as, an, as uncertain as the morning fall. Now you see it, soon it is gone. So what you ought to say is, if the Lord wants us to, we shall live and do this or that. Otherwise, you will be bragging about your own plans, and such self-confidence never pleases God. Remember, too, that knowing what is right to do and then not doing it is sin. My, 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 knowing what's right. You can know all you want to, but if you don't do according to what you know is right, it is a sin, my 
God, this is such a lesson. I tell you, I enjoyed reading over this lesson. It is packed. It is packed. And it's just confirming so much that I've been saying over and over and over again. So no, don't speak evil means exactly that. That's what it means. Do not speak evil means exactly what is saying. So if someone does evil and breaks the law, it is not evil to tell the proper authority so the victim can be helped, public justice served, and future abuse and crimes prevented. It is not evil for the proper authorities to punish someone who has been justly judged to have done evil. So that you get the words. That you get the words. This is very important, okay? Because so many people, we have false witnesses, we have people who are falsely accused. It's just so much going on. But listen to this again. Please listen to this. It is not evil for the proper authorities to punish someone who has been justly, justly judged to have done evil. It would be evil for someone to do evil to pay back personally someone who has done evil to them. As Paul wrote in Romans, the 12th chapter and the 17th verse, do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. So it is simply wrong to do evil. And the Bible reveals thoughts and behaviors that God considers evil. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. So in the church and in other places, it too often happens that some will gossip about others and speak evil about someone to make themselves feel better or to hurt, defame, or do other evils. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Gossip and even telling the truth about someone with the wrong intentions is evil. Do you hear that? Gossip and even telling the truth about someone with the wrong W-R-O-N-G intentions is evil. Paul wrote about these same concerns in 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter and the 20th verse. For I fear that when I come, I may find you not as I wish, and that you may find me not as you wish. I fear that there may perhaps be quarreling, jealousy, anger, selfishness, slander, gossip, conceit, and disorder. Now he's talking to the church folk, the people in the church that go and assemble in the church house, okay? This is who he's talking to. So these are all examples of what can happen when people in the church turn from trying to live as Jesus taught and lived. So these are examples of the way the world lives and not even the worldly, the worldly are truly happy speaking and living in these evil ways. Now James warned, whoever speaks evil against another or judges another speaks evil against the law and judges the law. Okay, whoever speaks evil against another or judges another speaks evil against the law and judges the law. So when someone speaks evil of another person or judges, you know, or judges another person, that means they're condemned. Okay, another person usually to hurt someone in some way, perhaps to defame them or make them suffer in public in some way. They are doing what is evil. That's evil, everybody. It's evil. It's wrong. And people know when they have the wrong intentions. And then try to do like her. Did I do that? Yes, you did it. And God is not happy either. Okay? So, when they do so, they are speaking evil against God, of God. You hear that? They are judging that the law of God does not apply to them, that they are above the law. Do you know anybody like that? 
somebody that thinks they're above the law. Oh my goodness. I know all of us can think of someone like that. And, and then I'm always thinking about myself. I hope, I know I don't feel that I'm above the law and I hope no one perceives me to, or, or believes that I think I'm above the law because I always try to check myself before I throw something up. Well, I said throw, but before I relay something out there, okay? I check myself, all right? And so I, I saw this. I know somebody uh, coined the, uh, I guess you call it a phrase cliche, check yourself before you wreck yourself. And I was on my way to Austin one day, and they have that on the highway sign. You know those uh, signs that they have along the highway? Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what we have to do. We have to check before we wreck. Okay, so they think they do not need to obey the law. These above the law people, okay? They don't think they need to, uh, to uh, obey the law of God because in some way they are the situation is, quote, end quote, special. You know, we have so many special people. Isn't it something? They are so special. All right, now above the law. They think they do not need to obey the law of God because in some way they are or or the situation is special. Now, neither James nor Paul taught that it is evil to tell the truth about someone to report a crime or testify in a court of law or to help people as an act of love for them. And I, I like this uh, crime shows, these detective shows, and things like that. And you hear the people say, I ain't no snitch. I ain't no snitch. And they'll know who did it. And they know that they can help the law, but then they've had so many different experiences with the law being against them. So they say, I ain't no snitch. I ain't telling nothing. And then the environment, the atmosphere, the neighborhood, and everything, is they, there are odds against them. If you snitch, what does they say? Let me see. Snitches, snitches get stitches. I think that's what they say. Okay. So, but he's calling and and uh, James. They didn't teach against telling the truth when the truth needs to be told. Okay. So neither James nor Paul taught that it is evil to tell the truth about someone to report a crime or testify in a court of law or to help people as an act of love for them. Now, you have to really be careful about that. And, uh, if you're going to tell it, you protect yourself first and make sure that they have your back covered. Because like they say, where the snitches get stitches, I'm telling you, it is not evil to uphold the law of God and try to help people by doing so. The James went on to write, and you've heard of people, let me go back, you've heard of people uh, going into witness protection because they have told and been witnesses against people who have committed crimes. And then some, oh, it's just so much going on around here. So much going on, but they put them in witness protection, they change their names, they change everything about them and send them way somewhere else. And they have new occupations, new this, they have to leave their old selves behind and never let those old selves surface again if they want to stay safe. And then sometimes they even get caught up with the people catch up with them and then do awful things to them. So anyway, but they didn't teach against uh, just justly telling what needs to be told, okay? It is not evil to uphold the law of God and to try to help people by doing so. And thank you again for being with me. I am uh, not looking on Facebook, but you know, I will get back with you uh, so, uh, uh, on it, but I really appreciate you being with me. So, James went on to write, if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. Some people judge others because they do not want to think about their own sins and failures 
Oh, this is loaded, everybody. This is loaded. And it's the truth. They are not doers of the law, but judges who condemn others, often condemning others for doing what they themselves do or wish they could do. Jealousy is as cruel as the grave envying and all of that that is evil is a sin against god okay if we judge that a law of god does not apply to us we are condemning god and the law of god and not doing the law of god we are simply a judge who believes he is greater than god or wiser than god which of course is doing evil you know when you think like that ask satan about it ask him that's why he is condemned to hell. But he's down here trying to get other people and recruit all other people from among us to be condemned to hell too. But that's, that got him thrown out of heaven and he can never, ever, ever, ever abide in heaven again. He is condemned and doomed, okay? So too many, this world, are worldly judges condemn God and the law of God by judging and saying our man-made laws or our worldly laws are greater than God's law, the law of love. God's law is the law of love. But as Paul wrote to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8, we know that the law is good if one uses it properly, yes. And there's also a scripture that tells us that the law is for the lawless. Okay, the law is for the lawless. All right. So no matter what those of this world think or how much this world thinking invades the church and the minds of those in the church, only God is the lawgiver and judge who can both save and destroy. And so he said, don't fear uh, those who can destroy, only destroy the body, but fear God who can destroy the body and the soul, okay? So a human judge and a government can say, not condemn, or destroy, murder someone physically, legally, but immorally, but they cannot do either spiritually, okay? Human judges who judge or condemn God's law will be judged by God. So you have to remember this. Remember this, remember this, know this, know this. Judgment day is coming and all those who are sitting high and call themselves looking down low and doing whatever they want to with the laws and all of that. But one thing, let me tell you this, is I'm really happy about is they uh, ruled, the su Supreme Court ruled in favor of the, the coach who was praying on the field. Now, they got that right, okay? And I'm not saying they got anything else wrong, but there have been so many things like the voting and and uh, just just so much, uh, just so much, so much has not been right, okay? So finally, there are some inside and outside the church who look for reasons to judge or condemn someone. They have set up rules or standards in their own minds that they expect others to live up to then they condemn, judge, or gossip about those who displease them. This, too, is doing evil. And I was saying to uh, someone on the phone uh, today that so many people in the church have done things because they were uh, things that they regret that they did because they didn't want to uh, be talked about, or they felt like they were bringing shame on the church. And of course, you know, if you're sinning and all that, you are, but there are things that people are confused about, and then they do things, and then they regret them, because people have put so many burdens on them, 
so many standards on them. And they, they set up, just like this said, they set up rules or standards in their own minds that they expect others to live up to. And then many do not live up to them themselves. They put burdens on people that they won't touch with their finger. I remember uh, uh, this evangelist telling us one time that his pastor had called a a fast, and evidently it must have been a complete fast. And so most of them were fasting, and uh, like the pastor said, and then he went into the pastor's office, and the pastor's sitting there eating. <laughs> they set up rules or standards in their own minds that they expect others to live up to. Then they condemn, judge, or gossip about those who displease them. This too is doing evil. Now there are exceptions, exceptions, okay? For people who they have medical issues, who are diabetic and these people are on schedules. And so we know all about that common sense. We have to think, we have to think and use common sense, okay? So who's to say that maybe maybe the pastor might have had a, di a diabetic problem. He could have been diabetic and had to eat something, you know, a snack or something like that because the preacher said he was eating peanuts. So I'm going to leave that right there, okay? But they put people, put burdens on people that they wouldn't touch themselves. And they're going around judging and talking about people. And they think they're above the law. But I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God is on the throne. And he's looking and he's booking and everybody has to be judged. And they're going to be judged according to to their deeds, and that's why God is going to be the judge. We can say whatever we want. No, you're not right. This she ain't right. She ain't going to heaven and all that. God has the last say so over that. And so that's why I say I do the best that I can. I really try to please God, and I leave the rest up to him. Just in case something is missing, I am leaving it up to God, not being slack. But I know, I know, I know that there are things that I'm, 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 I just know. I don't believe, you know, I hope I'm pleasing God and I try. But just in case, I leave it open and say, God, wherever I lack, please take up the slack in the name of Jesus. Oh, I rhymed. I rhymed. I rhymed. Is that what I'm supposed to say, rhyme? Okay. Anyway. James continues to warn us not to think we are wiser than God or God's law. He warns us not to think that we can control our circumstances, plans, and ultimate destinies without regard to God. We can only do so for a limited time. Some think only of making and spending money and have no regard for God. The love of money has become their God. They make plans without no thought of God. Even in the church, some can fall into the temptation of doing things without going first to God in prayer for guidance and protection to do the right thing in the right way at the right time. Some people just go into it headlong. Yes, yes, yes. But we must consult God in every situation. Yes. So, only God knows what tomorrow will bring and how long someone will live. A tidal wave, an earthquake, or a volcanic uh, eruption can change us and the world forever. We all know, every one of us is old enough to know, we know that our world has been changed so many times and there's not one thing that we could have done to prevent it or can do to prevent whatever else is on its way. And just like my daughter said one time, she said, I'm just waiting for the next shoe to drop because we just don't know from one microsecond to the millisecond to the second. We just don't know. So it behooves us, I admonish you, to repent and be saved. 
if you haven't already. And those who are saved to continue to walk in faith, trusting and depending on God for your every move, for your very existence. In him we live, move, and we have our being in him, in the Lord God Almighty. Yes. So only God truly knows what tomorrow will bring and how long someone will live. A tidal wave, an earthquake, and I know I'm repeating, or a volcanic eruption can change us and the world forever. We've heard of all of that, okay? We never know when we might become victims of an accident, an illness, or some evil person, no matter how long we live or how old we are, by comparison to a tall mountain that erodes each year, our life is like a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. That's our life. We're here today.